Hey everyone, today I have another pellet project for you. I'm going to be showing you how to turn a pellet into a bike rack. I came up with this project because my garage was pretty messy and I realized a big part of the problem was that we would ride our bikes into the garage and just leave them leaning up somewhere or in a pile and we didn't have a place to actually store them. The first thing you're going to need, obviously, is a pellet. It's important to make sure that your pellet is heat treated you also want to make sure it's in pretty good shape, it doesn't have a bunch of nails sticking off, and that the boards are spaced in a way that would allow a bike tire to fit between them. To start off, you're going to cut the pellet pretty much in half along one side of the supporting middle beam. I'm doing this with a handsaw, just going back and forth, first cutting all the boards on the top, and then I'll flip it over and cut all the boards on the bottom. Once you've cut the boards, there's going to be nothing supporting them on that side, so you want to be careful when you're handling it and flipping it over that the boards don't break off. Once you finish your last cut, the pellet will be separated into two more or less equal halves. Now you're going to need to add something in place of the supporting beam that you cut off in the previous step. I'm using a piece of 2x4 that I bought from Home Depot. You could also salvage a piece of wood from another pellet if you don't want to buy new wood or you don't have anything on hand. Position the 2x4 so it's square with the end boards and the bottom boards, and then nail the end boards in place. Now grab the other half of the pellet and stack it on top of where you're working. You're going to use this as a template to line up the wooden planks on top of the pellet with the wooden planks on the other half. This will create a nice opening between the planks where your tire will be held in place. Once you've got everything lined up, you can go ahead and nail in the rest of the wooden planks to the supporting 2x4 that you just added. I use two nails in each plank, and once you finish doing that, you can flip it over and nail in the planks on the back to the new supporting 2x4 as well. These don't have to be lined up with anything, but they should look more or less square. Next, spend a few minutes just cleaning up your pellet. Make sure that there's no nails sticking out, and if there are nail heads or pieces of old nails sticking up, you can just hammer them down so they're flat. You want to make sure there's nothing that will puncture a tire. Also, if you find your pellet does have any damage, like mine here, you can see the wooden plank is a bit banged up from use. I'm going to just add another nail to make sure that that's nice and secure. An additional step that I recommend you do is to use a metal brush to get any splinters off of the pellet. I think that a splinter could puncture a bike tire, especially a big splinter off a heat treated piece of wood, so make sure that you get rid of any splintery areas with the metal brush and by sanding if necessary. Now you're going to need another piece of 2x4, again it could be salvaged from a different pellet, and you're basically just going to attach it to the back of one of the other 2x4s so that it's flush on the bottom side, like so. Once you've got it lined up, you can nail it or screw it in place so it's going to hold tight. For some extra support, I added a little piece of 2x4 that I had left over to the center back that's also lined up in position with the bottom of the pellet. Once that's done, you can stack the other pellet on top of those two pieces of 2x4. You'll see that it, you've created a nice flat surface for it to sit on. And at this point, do a test with your bike to make sure that the bike tire is going to fit in place. If you find that it's fitting nicely, like mine is here, then you can proceed to the next step. If it isn't, because all pallets come in slightly different sizes, you may need to make some modifications to your design. That's why it's a good idea to check at this point to make sure everything is fitting in nicely. Now you can proceed by fastening this top pallet down to the surface of the two 2x4s two you added in the last step. I used a number of screws along the top going down to just hold it in place. For some additional support, I also added some 90 degree corner brackets to the bottom of the 2x4 that I added and the 2x4 of the top pallet, as you can see here. In place of these metal brackets, you could probably use pieces of wood as well. Depending on how many bikes you're going to have, if you feel you need the additional support, you may be okay without it also. 
Now we're gonna add two side supports by taking a piece of plank that I salvaged from a different pallet and nailing it in place on the top and bottom and then cutting it square with the edges of the bike rack. We're gonna do the same on the other side of the bike rack. And that's essentially all there is to it. You could paint it if you want as well or do further sanding, but I found that just as is, it was an extremely functional addition to my garage. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other videos. I have some other pellet projects out there and subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna have a lot more projects coming out soon.